385 million years ago, a couple of Scottish armoured fish called Antiarchs discovered the joy of sex, a discovery that defined the future of the human race. And now, thanks to the groundbreaking work of an international team led by renowned Flinders University paleontologist John Long, we know how they did it. I was in Estonia last year and found one small plate that I recognised as a clasper, a, a male reproductive organ, in a placoderm. And then that led to looking at collections in Europe and North America and in private collections where we found the whole complete perfect specimens that were the key to our new discovery. The placoderms are often thought to be a dead end group, but uh, with no relevance to living animals. But now we know that probably many of the structures that first appeared in placoderms, including behaviours like copulation, first evolved in them and then carried right through the rest of vertebrate evolution. This stunning insight into the origins of sex was published in the prestigious journal Nature and announced in Adelaide today. Now what we've discovered in this paper is that the origins of copulation go much further back, both in time and also at a node that's much earlier, associated with the origin of the first jawed vertebrates. So basically when these ancient fish called antiarchs first evolved, they were the first creatures to have jaws. The first creatures to have hind paired limbs called pelvic fins. The first creatures to have uh, multiple plates joining the head to cover the skull. All these things carried right through evolution to us humans. Now we know that they also invented copulation. Most unexpected as well was that then internal fertilization once it first appeared was then lost. So after placoderms evolved this strange kind of way of reproducing, this method was lost and then fishes reverted back to spawning in water the old fashioned way and then later in evolution evolved it again in a different way. And so sharks today, shark stingrays have these claspers, but these claspers are attached to the pelvic fins in sharks. In placoderms they weren't, they were developed like an extra pair of legs. So you might say that the earliest vertebrate body plan had three pairs of limbs of which the, rear, the rearmost pair of limbs with the, the sexual organs in the males and these little bony plates in the females. We often think of fossils as just being relevant to understanding skeletons and, and structure of animals, you know, the skeletal evolution of, of one group of animals to the other. But this gives us a rare window into behaviour and, and reproductive strategies. And it's the first time in evolution we get vertebrate speci speciation on such a grand scale and it must be due to their reproductive strategy. We don't see any other way that would have made them so successful. And why is it important to know the origins of sex? Well, you know, why do we study paleontology at all? It's really important to know philosophically where we've come from as a species and where our origins began.